Marshall Jones is 14, likes making lattes, wearing bow ties, and he's autistic. Always deal with it and just never give up. He explains he sometimes gets frustrated when he can't do something, but his mother Lynn focuses on how far he's come. He's doing so many things independently, and that's only because I've put in the work. For families on the spectrum, Lynn says the biggest challenge is by far the cost. Autism is expensive. It's really expensive, especially if you're giving your child what they really, really need and you're being proactive. You know, your co-pays, your doctor visits, your medications, your private schooling, your respite care, um, you name it, but you know, it's, it comes with the journey. With this month being Autism Awareness Month, Lynn is using it as a time to call businesses and encourage them to include kids on the spectrum in their services. Marshall, um, with his uh, delay in fine motor skills, it was tougher for him. In fact, his friends were tying his shoes and I was embarrassed for him when he was in third and fourth grade. Now he doesn't just know how to tie his shoes. He makes lattes, sells them through a school program and has an ambitious goal for the year. This year I want to start my own bow tie business. His love of fashion will serve his future well. And for anyone just dealing with a diagnosis, he says this. Well, I just wanted to say this is Marshall Jones signing out saying anyone with autism can be not perfect but special.